Hey everybody, I have such an exciting interview today. I am with Jimmy from Venice Bakery and I have a really funny story about how we met. Um, my husband and I always, always take all of our friends, all of our family to a couple of the restaurants in Santa Monica and we have been eating some fantastic gluten-free crust and we've been forcing it on everyone because it's so amazing and all of a sudden we're in the airport and we end up meeting this fantastic guy who has a gluten-free shirt on and we find out that he is the maker of some of our favorite foods so he invited us to come and see his amazing bakery so here we are today with Jimmy thank you Lori yeah I'm so excited to be here and that you showed us around and that we just got to sample some amazing crust. So tell me a little bit about the story of this incredible place that you have here. So Venice Bakery is a 60-year-old family business. I'm third generation to run the company. I uh, started by my grandfather who came to America from Sicily in 1930. Wow. And uh, nine years ago, the gluten-free product was created simply to help autistic kids. And mm -hmm. that was uh, my whole motivation for creating the product. and. Today it's sold all over America, Canada, uh, in the UK, and Australia. Wow. What is that like? What does it feel like to know that you're it's impacting been, that large of an area? Yeah, it's been overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, especially the emails that we get from moms talking about how happy their children are to have you know, this gluten-free product. Mm -hmm. To see their kids eating pizza again. On the back, the story of... My great-grandfather, my grandfather, and my uncle who came to America from Sicily. This is the only old family picture that I have. Really? The only one. And uh, I put it everywhere. That's so really this neat. tells the story of Venice Bakery. You know, a 60-year-old family business. What makes your product different? Uh, I know, but I want to hear it from uh, you. I mean, obviously, it has to do with the ingredients, the manufacturing process that I created to make it. But on top of that... It's, uh, it's the people, the passion mm -hmm. for making the product. It, it, if you're passionate about doing anything, you're going to do it great. Mm -hmm. right? The passion uh, uh, is not just from me, but everybody in that facility out there who really takes pride in what they're doing. I can literally feel the passion. And to be honest, I swear I can taste it. It is so good. It's amazing. I don't know what else I'd do if I didn't uh, have this to to wake up to yeah. every day and uh, I just love being here in, in, in the factories and creating great products. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I just absolutely love about what you're doing is that you truly, you know, you, you didn't give up. You're constantly reinventing yourself. I thought that was so interesting when we got to chat on the floor around here that, you know, it's so vital to really anticipate people's needs mm -hmm. and that's what you've done and also the fact that you've never given up. I sat in here, I sat on a chair sitting in the middle of this building and I said, is this right? Do I do this? Right? This is a very, very big decision to make. And I sat 30, 45 minutes by myself in the middle of this building with no lights on, just some of the lights coming through the skylights and ultimately said, I gotta do this, we gotta go. Once I set my mind to do something, I'm not stopping. Yeah. I, mean, I don't care how long it takes, I don't care what it costs. Mm -hmm. if, if, I'm, if I have my mindset to create something, I'm gonna create it and I'm not gonna release it until it's perfect. And that mm -hmm. goes for any of our products. The product's coming out of the oven about yeah. 200 degrees. So we wanna knock it down to at least, you know, 70 or so before we put it okay. in, in boxes. Yeah. So. started with my normal dough principles that I grew up with. Yeah. But what that yielded was a very dry, crumbly pizza crust that made yeah. me just want to grab a glass of water and wash it that's down. No I said, I can't serve this. No. So that's when you get to work every day, working, 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 reformulating, reformulating. You take some good data away and you throw all your stuff that's in the trash. Had. So it was challenging, mm -hmm. but right, you always say that the hardest things in life are the greatest things in life. Mm -hmm. The things that are most challenging mm -hmm. that you accomplish, those are the greatest things in life. Absolutely. Well, you have created something 
so incredible here. Even it, it's more, it's it's really a, a human experience, and it's really all about, you know, what you've done is relationship building and created something so incredible that's affecting people in their homes. And I know that I absolutely love every minute whenever I get to eat. Um, any of your crust. So Thank it's you. absolutely amazing. We're so grateful to be here today. And we have got some really amazing specials for you on our site and in the newsletter. So you're going to have to take my word for it and trust me here. And just know that you will be thanking me later if you just experience this for yourself. So thank you so, so much for this. I had, I had so much fun walking through your, your factory and meeting everybody. Thank you. Thank you.